Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we are actually covering how to brute force DNS. Now, the reason for this is we've covered in the past uh, DNS lookup and things like that and they're very useful. But what happens when a DNS server is configured to not give you that information? It's hard to get information from them, right? You can't do zone transfers. They're very... Um, they're less common nowadays you used to be able to do them to a lot of servers now you can't so with that first things we have to do is understand DNS so we understand what we're looking at right so there's these type of records in here and I know this looks weird but I wanted it to be able to be seen um, and when I put it in notepad and stuff I couldn't get it to look right to get you to see it um, so anyway here you are you have a records so a records are the address of the host. this is what you're gonna see mostly you're gonna see hey Jim Bob is on computer XYZ right the IP address is whatever that is the majority of the records you're gonna see then you have these 4A AAAA records okay these are the same thing but they're in IPv6 so if you see these records and the reason I'm telling you this is because you're gonna get a lot of records and you need to know what they are because some of them may not be real in a sense and you'll see what I mean so now we have C name records and I missed a capitalization but that's fine or canonical name okay all this is is an alias what this means is let's say you have one server serving two purposes right or one server that has multiple domains that point to it things like that um, they will use different aliases so you may call it you know server one two three and then this domain over here may call it server four five six it doesn't really matter um, but it, it's important that you know that CNAME is an alias because that's not the true name of it. Um, so that's just good to know that you know that. Right? So then you have MX records. These are self-explanatory mail exchange servers. So these are your mail servers. So it's important because depending on what you're trying to do with your pen test, this shows you, hey, this maybe the mail server is my, my target, right? Now I know where the mail servers are. NS name server this is exactly what it sounds like it's a name server so this is where your DNS is going to be hosted typically but most companies will have multiple name servers so you're not looking at the one that you're currently querying may not be the one that is showing up here you may have multiple then you have SOA or start of authority this has a lot of information about the zone that you're currently in um, when you're doing the transfer um, we're not going to be doing the transfer but it's important that you know that what this is so that you see that okay by the way if you guys are enjoying this content we're almost to 5k so please 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 hit that sub button hit that like button we're getting right into it I just want you guys to know I really appreciate it and thank you and we're almost 5k so thank you so much so now you have the pointer records or PTRs this is for reverse lookup so for every a record typically um, the reason I say typically is because people mess up right um, for every a record there's gonna be a pointer record right there with it it's the opposite so what the reason that's important is because what a pointer record does is if you say hey I want to know what NS lookup IP address, you know, one two three four five six seven eight nine, right? Whatever. I want to know what that is. It'll give you the host name for it. That is what a pointer record does. It does the reverse of what DNS actually does, which DNS normally you'll say, "Hey, I'm on host one two three. Give me the IP address." You can say, "Give me the. I'll give you the IP address. You give me the the host name." So then you have text records or TXTs. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's for admins to use however they please. What I mean by that is they may go ahead and just put notes in there for other people. They may put records in there for certain tools. There's all kinds of whatever they want to do. It's just a way to store miscellaneous information in DNS. So with that said, that's good. That's We need to know that. Now we're going to go ahead and hop right into it, and we're going to start Recon NG. So we've used Recon NG in the past, right? We know that. Um, but one thing we haven't done in the past is use it to brute force DNS. Now, why would we brute force DNS over the alternative, which is just, hey, DNS, give me your records, is because DNS doesn't always want to do that transfer, right? But there's sirens going off. Hopefully, you guys don't hear them. But um, DNS doesn't always want to do that transfer. But if we say, hey, DNS, what's this host? And it's right they may give it to us right so that's why it's important to try this so with recon ng i've got my notes here with what module we're going to load so i don't know that it's on here because my computer actually um i'm on my laptop right now and it actually died while this was up so i don't know that uh saved so we'll say recon domain and then it's hosts and then we'll see hopefully it's in here so brute force okay so brute host yes it's in there so it's already loaded if you don't load or if you don't have this already on your um, system just go to the marketplace and install it on recon ng I have a video on that if you need to see it but it's super easy okay so we've got it so now all we have to do here 
is just say info and it'll give you, you know, here's our information, right? So here's the word list it's going to use. You can change this, right? If you have your own word list that you think is better or, you know, more appropriate, feel free to change it. But the source and the word list are the two things. You can see we have it set for default and the word list is actually default as well. Um, so this is what Recon NG is providing for the word list. And the one website we're going to do, and you can see if we do show domains right here, we don't have them. Oh, we started, it actually saved it. Perfect. So we're going to use that. We're going to use Try Hack Me. So the reason I'm going to use Try Hack Me is because, you know, they're an educational site. I'm not trying to do anything malicious. It's a good um, alternative to a real site. You do not want to use this on a real site. This is an actual um, active versus passive. So if you don't know the difference, um, go back and watch some of my videos. But active means I'm actually going to be touching them because I'm going to reach out. So if you ever do a who is on try hack me you'll see their name servers that is what we're going to be reaching out to and saying give us this information so now we just say okay we already have the domain in there so to in order to put the domain in there you would say database insert and this is just domain and then you just put whatever domain you want so insert try hack me .com. this is just going to put them in and you can see that there's a table here you're inserting that table into the domains you can put or inserting the domains in that table excuse me you can put whatever domains you want in here and it'll try them all we're not necessarily trying any more than one so and then you can see all we're going to do is we're going to say run and watch it's trying all of these you see that it's trying them all it's going to run it's going to run we're at f we're at g h i j k l m n o p and then once this is done you'll see all we have to do is say show okay so 21 12 new hosts so 21 total the reason it says 12 news because I tried it earlier and just canceled it just to show but now we just say show hosts and look at this without having to do anything right not only did we get all of these domains or all of these host names that are now websites right that we can go to we also got the IP address so look how fast that was and instead of doing hey DNS give me the, your information because it doesn't always do that it actually did give us these individuals so if we create a proper word list let's say we know that this you know domain uses a certain uh, form or a certain a you know syntax when they make their websites if like for instance we know try hack me let's say they made try hack me server 01 right try hack me server 02 we can now go off that and say okay try server try hack me Five, all the way to 500 right and we'll get all these and then we're getting the IP addresses for them as well now this is an external one obviously because these are all external IPs but if we were internal right now and we asked or we brute force the domain name for all the internal IPs we would have so many servers because most admins are taught you want to name certain things certain ways right you want to name them that way so keep that in mind when you guys are doing this, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome thing to do because this changes how you actually do DNS recon. It's 100% going to give you more results than most zone transfers unless a server or a name server is way outdated and actually giving you a full zone transfer. Most of the time they won't do that. So this is a really good alternative. It's really important that you guys know how to do this because look at this. I mean, within 30 seconds, I have 21 hosts now that I can attack as my targets, right? So hopefully you guys like this content. Hopefully you guys like the video. I am on my laptop, so I have to pull this back up and you have to see it. But hopefully you guys have a great day, and thanks, guys.